Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to look into leader election. We are going to cover what exactly zookeeper and symbol means, what is the client server model in a zookeeper, how does leader election take place, and what is the meaning of quorums. So let's get started. Now, when we say a group of servers, what we basically mean is, the generalized term is basically cluster. In case of Zookeeper, Ensemble means a group of Zookeeper servers. So here in the upper side, you can see there are a couple of servers which are linked together and every single server can access other servers. The, let's say for example, the first server, this one, can access this, this and also the last server. So every single server is interconnected to each other. So this group of servers are basically Zookeeper Ensemble. In the bottom side, you can see there is a client cluster. So basically, who exactly is the client of Zookeeper? So the client of Zookeeper are the nodes or the servers in which the services are deployed. And what Zookeeper is going to do is basically it is going to manage all this group of clients where the services are deployed. Now, here you can see in Zookeeper Ensemble, every single server where Zookeeper is installed is actually assigned one unique number, which is basically being assigned by Zookeeper itself, which acts as an identity to that server. When you boot up all the servers, what it is going to do is, it is going to look out for one server to act as leader. So in our case, this is the leader. And how does this leader election take place? Is whoever is having the lowest number here will be elected as the leader. For simplicity, I have written down the numbers in increasing order. Now, what happens if at all a leader failure occurs? See, if let's say, the first server fails, the very next server, next server as in the very next server who is an incremental increasing number to the previous one will be listening to that particular leader. And as soon as there is a failure, he will be in charge. So in this case, after one's failure, two will be in charge. It's not like after one's failure, five is going to be in charge. That is not random. So this is how the leader election takes place to provide seamless response to the clients. Now, what exactly quorums mean in Zookeeper? As we have seen in the previous uh, diagram, an ensemble is basically a group of servers. Now, quorums are basically a minimum amount of server, a minimum number of servers required to keep a healthy ensemble, which means how can we keep up the services running in a proper way? Uh, to maintain a proper quorum, we need to have at least half of the servers online, which means that in a group of ensemble, whichever number, let's say there are three servers to maintain a healthy quorum or to maintain a healthy ensemble, we need at least more than half servers to be online. So in this case, there should be at least two servers to be online. If one fails, still the quorum will be maintained. In the next example, we can see there are six servers. Now if at all there are two servers which went down, still Zookeeper will be able to maintain one healthy ensemble. Why? Because more than half of the servers are still online. In the third example, let's say there are two servers which went down. Now only one is up, which is less than half of the number of uh, Zookeeper servers present. So in this case, healthy ensemble won't be uh, maintained and you might see problems with the service. So this is what quorums mean. In the next tutorial, 
we are going to do a setup for a single node zookeeper. When I say single node zookeeper, what I mean is there will be one server in which one particular service zookeeper will be deployed. We are also going to see what happens when we bring in a client and what exactly will happen to zookeeper when a client comes in. Till then, thank you very much. And if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel.